what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by in today's video I'm going to be unboxing my second PR package from makeup revolution I did receive this in the mail for free and I'm just excited to kind of open it up and share with you what I got so if you're excited to see all of my new goodies then go ahead and keep watching I have opened this box <laughs> I'm just letting you know I was super excited I didn't even know it was coming and then when it got dropped off I was like yes I just love makeup and I also love inexpensive makeup so the first thing I'm super excited about I was actually thinking about buying this is the makeup revolution 5d lash mascara this is in the shade super black it is ten dollars at Ulta I almost picked it up last week and I'm really really glad I didn't I'm gonna try it for you guys right here so I have one of their other uh, mascaras and it was decent but this one is supposed to be like super awesome so I'm gonna just put it on this eye and see what happens Ooh, look at this wand it's a little skinny for my liking um, but it's not terrible. It's a little bit thick. I just don't like super, super skinny lash wands. I don't really know what I was trying to say there. So let's see. Oh, wow. I'm just going to put one coat on and see what we're working with. It doesn't seem to be clumping. And now just keep in mind, I do not have super thick lashes or super long lashes. Like my lashes are just basically super thin non-existent so this is one application I'm gonna zoom it in for you guys to see doesn't look too much of a difference so we're gonna go on with the second one and see how it goes and I believe this is fairly new so we're putting on a second coat I just don't like clumpy lashes because the Maybelline I had the Maybelline the sky high mascara and it did lift and really give my lashes volume but it also made them clumpy so this is the second application. It's actually not bad. It really is not bad. So we're gonna go with a third one just to give it a one final. I just find sometimes that thicker wands give me a fuller look where this one might be thinner to keep it from clumping. So it's gonna kind of comb them as you're putting the product on. So this is with the third layer and then this is with none. So let me know what you guys think. I like it. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think that it is as lifting and lengthening as the Maybelline one, but it definitely does give me some volume. Now I'm not picky about my mascara simply because I put lashes on no matter what, but I think that if you're looking for a decent mascara, this isn't bad and it's only $10, but my favorite mascara will always be the L'Oreal Voluminous and she's like seven bucks. So, so all in all, I do like this a lot and I think that it turned out really nice on my lashes. It did give them like a nice lift. So I like it. I like it a lot. So the next thing I got was their luxury baking powder. I actually put this in a giveaway that I did the last time I got it and I will probably do the same just because I have so much setting powder. I just really don't, I don't need it. So I don't want to open it and either not like it or not use it. And then it goes to waste. So I am going to just go ahead and put that in the giveaway. So I have a giveaway that I am collectively gathering. It's not been posted yet. So just bear with me i like to collect a bunch of things and then just do like a huge giveaway for one to two people so whenever you see in my videos where i'm like oh i'll put this in the giveaway it's because i'm collectively like just gathering stuff so bear with me it's coming so the next item is a lip vinyl in the shade thirsty i do really 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 love this color it's like a ruby orangey I don't even know how to explain to you guys. This is $7 on the Ulta website. We're gonna open her up. Oh, it smells really good. I don't know that I care for the doe foot applicator though. I hate these just skinny ones. I prefer the ones that bend. Oh, <laughs> she is bright. However, I feel like one dip is more than enough. It smells like a cappuccino. So I do really, really love this color. I'm just putting it on to kind of see like is it matte it's probably not matte because it's a vinyl it's probably gonna stay kind of glossy but it's not like a lip gloss it's gonna be more thick if that makes any sense I love this I love this color I love how this feels so I love this color though that they sent me it's really really pretty it's like a 
now that I have it on, it's like a very coral, bright, pinky orange color. Oh, it's so pretty. The next thing I have in here is the Conceal and Fix Pore Facting Primer. And I'm kind of excited. This was $12 on the Ulta website. I will probably have a video up next week, maybe doing like a full face with this like new products that I have. But I'm just kind of just giving you like a quick run through of like my thoughts on them, kind of like a first impressions. So what I'm thinking this is like, oh, it comes with a cute little spoon. So what I'm thinking this is like is it's gonna be like the Tatcha um, silk canvas and also like the e.l.f. putty, whatever it was called. So I have, this one is the Makeup Revolution one and then I have the e.l.f. one. I have the uber expensive Tatcha one. So I will show you them. This one is the Makeup Revolution. This one is the e.l.f. one and this is the Tatcha one. I will tell you Although I do think the e.l.f. and the Makeup Revolution are very similar, they're not the same as the Tatcha. I know that a lot of people will argue that they're very similar, but they're not the same. And I know that it's a cheaper alternative. So obviously I do use the e.l.f. one because it is a lot cheaper, but I just feel like the Tatcha one is a lot more silky and more creamy. So I like that about it where I just, you can kind of just feel the difference in the e.l.f. one. It just kind of sits on my face a little bit more instead of just like blending in and making it smoother. But I'm excited to try it out. It seems to be the exact same size as the e.l.f. one. So that's exciting. And the exact same color. So who knows? Dupes, dupes for dupes. But that was $12. Okay, so the next item I actually could not find on Ulta's website. So it may just be a Revolution makeup only or Revolution skincare item only. So this is the Revolution skincare and Jake Jamie watermelon hydrating face mask. And this is $11. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like a dupe for the glow recipe face mask. That's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming. I will say that this brand, uh, I like that they dupe but sometimes they they don't just dupe they just straight up copy so that's the only one thing that i would say i wish they did differently so this is probably just like that low recipe oh that smells really good okay so it has like seeds in it i don't know if you guys are catching that um oh it's smell is pretty strong it's pretty sticky. I don't know that this is like a mask that you would just like leave on. Let me, let me do some, some researching. Okay. So I couldn't find the directions on the package in English. Maybe I'm overlooking it, but it says on the website to apply one to two times a week, allow to work for 10 to 15 minutes, massage in the skin for 30 seconds, then rinse well. So it isn't like the glow recipe where you just leave it on. This is like a mask mask where you will have to let it take it off. It does smell really good, but it is very strong in fragrance. So I'm a little worried about that. Uh, but for $11, it's not bad. It's pretty heavy uh, and it was very thick. It was a very like sticky, sticky mask. So the next item is the Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. This was $9 on their website. I'm really excited about this one because I did use their Hyaluronic Acid and I enjoyed it. It was very similar to The Ordinary, but I think it was actually a little bit more expensive. I mean, clearly I don't have any makeup on. I just thought like, why not try it? But I will tell you, I like that it is a setting spray with hyaluronic acid in it. I don't know that I have one like that. So I'm super excited about this one. And it says hydrating and plumping, which I'm not really sure what that means, but we'll go with it. Okay, so the next item is the multi-acid peeling solution, intense peeling solution. Helps to smooth skin and improve skin's radiance. It is vegan and cruelty free and it is also $14. This reminds me of the Ordinary AHA Peel. So if it is that, I might have to pass because that stuff used to really, really just burn and dry my skin really bad. So yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's exactly that red stuff that people are putting all over their face that's exactly what this looks like it's just not as red 
and not as thick. I'm trying to see the ingredients. Let's see, I have their website here. So, use this in the evening no more than twice per week. Apply to clean face. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across the face and neck. Rinse with lukewarm water. Keep on for no longer than 10 minutes and that's a lot like the ordinary. Lactic acid, glycolic acid, salic salicylic acid. So it has a lot of acids in it. I will try it, but I've tried these before and they just don't turn out really well. Anything peeling, acid, etc. Uh, I tend to leave to the professionals just because, you know, I don't want to mess up my skin any more than it already is. And I did use the AHA, BHA, or whatever that peel was that The Ordinary has. I'll pop it right here. It really, really tore up my skin. So I'm kind of hesitant, but I'll probably try this out. So I had to take that lip vinyl off my lips because it continued to get on my teeth and nobody wanted to tell me about it. And I looked ridiculous. So I'm putting on some lip balm, but we're moving on. So I'm excited, but hesitant about this situation. So the next thing is the pink clay detoxifying face mask. I'm not gonna open it because I am going to put this in the giveaway. I've had a pink clay mask before and I just didn't care for what it did for my dry skin. So I'm just like, I don't wanna open this and waste it. I would like to give it away to somebody else. And this was $11 as well. So as they, I don't wanna say that they're all the same, but clay masks are just really not for me. They dry my skin out really, really bad. So I'm gonna put that in the giveaway as well. So I have two more things to add to my giveaway, but I just can't use them and I really would hate to waste them. So the next thing I have is a Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. So I didn't see this on their website, but it is on Ulta for $12. It is the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer preps your skin for long lasting makeup whilst turning up the glow all over your complexion. Follow your skincare, simply pump onto your skin and smooth over using your fingers for the ultimate glowy canvas for the rest of your makeup. I'm excited for this. $12, by the way. Don't know if I mentioned that. Sometimes I forget. So we're just going to give her a pump. Oh, no. That smells really bad. It smells like paint. Lord Jesus help my stomach mm, like my stomach's already upset and that just really just oh so it is very very dewy and highlighty highlighty glowy um it doesn't give me the iconic london feel because it does rub in and it doesn't leave like a cast but it's definitely shimmery uh however i'm gonna have to pass this is probably gonna go in the trash um, and maybe I'll pick one up at Ulta on my own, but I don't know if it's bad. I don't know what it is, but it stinks so bad. I almost got sick. So the last two things I got were eyeshadow palettes. The first one I got is called Chilled and it has <laughs> marijuana leaves all over it. It has cannabis sativa seed oil in them. Uh, there are stars. Why are they starred? Pressed pigments. Okay, so it tells me which ones are pressed pigments and not safe for the eye. This was only $15 on Ulta site. And I will tell you, although this is not my jam um, anymore as I am now, not as fun as maybe I once was, but this is actually a nice palette. I have their, I have their other one. And I'm not gonna lie to you when I tell you these colors are everything oh my god you guys you know how much i love green oh what look at these i don't know that i'd ever use like this cool tone color over here but like ugh. this is such a pretty palette for 15 dollars i don't know what palette this is copying but she is stunning. If you guys want to see me do a look with this palette, comment below because I 110% will. I'm going to swatch a couple now because, <laughs> oh, these are so creamy. Oh, I like these a lot. Please swatch well. Look at this one right here. Oh, it's my favorite. That is called Natural. I don't know if you can see it because I kind of swatched it like an idiot. 
Look at these glitters, like the glitter toppers. Oh, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love green. <laughs> green is such a fun, pretty color. This is probably the prettiest palette I own. And I, I own a lot of palettes. Y'all know this. But hands down, like one of the prettiest palettes. I have green eyeshadow all over my pants now because I just swiped it on pants. This is why Steven is always like, please don't wear my clothes when you film because I just go like this. <laughs> and I look like I got out of art class by the time I'm done my videos. It might be a little standoffish for some people because it has marijuana leaves on it, but if you can just get past that, it also has marijuana leaves engraved into some of the shadows. So just get past it because it's so pretty. Oh my God, I fucking love this palette. Okay, so the one that I got last time was a SOS, Asosis, I don't know. That was the one I got last time and I really didn't care for it so I wound up giving it away. It was just like a lot of mauve maroony colors and I just didn't really use it. But this green one, <laughs> this green one is so pretty, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get you guys a look up next week, don't worry, don't worry. But let's move on to the last one which is the Affinity palette in the same collection. It has that same beautiful marble color. Gah. Pretty. Uh, I don't know why it has a bunch of R's in it. Makeup rev oh, revolution makeup. Duh, Jamie. So this one has lots of pops of bright colors, pinks, some shimmeries, some browns. This is more on that nudie mauve side. However, Force and Bond are super bright and they're going to be super gorgeous. Oh, we're going to swatch some of these too. Y'all know I'm going right into Force right into it the toppers and the shimmer so i have one over here and then they just go like shimmery topper <gasps> these are stunning if you guys have ever used these please let me know i think i should not have given away that palette i should not have given away. my hand is just full of glitter so i might get you one look up from the one palette and one look up from the other palette. I don't want to make up Revolution, you guys, too much. So I don't know that I'll put it up in the same week. Unless that's what you guys want. Let me know down below. But this one's coming. This one is... This is such a stunning palette. Like, they could have just sent me this. And I would be freaking ecstatic. Like, this is a stunning palette. And they're both only $15. What? Like, it's just so... It's so beautiful. They're so pretty. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my God. If you guys have this palette, let me know down below. What are your thoughts? What are, do you, are you as excited as I am? Cause I'm fucking excited. So, <laughs> but that was it for my PR box from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup. I'm not really certain what they go by right now um, because there's quite a few names, but I'm excited to try these out for you guys on different videos and give you my full and more in depth thoughts. So if you guys wanna see me use or review any of these items, make sure you comment down below and let me know. And as always guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, please give this video a big thumbs up for me and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six beauty videos every single week, sometimes, and you don't want to miss out on those. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!